Milwaukee River. Taste of Venice is coming to Milwaukee. No, not a new Italian restaurant, but the Venetian's favorite form of transportation. Noreen Lauer explains in tonight's Finishing Touch. All it took was one trip to Venice, one ride on a gondola, and Antonio Treviso got a second calling. After returning to Milwaukee, he talked it over with his father, an Italian shipbuilder. Eventually, Dad designed them, he and his brother built them by hand, and the gondolas made their debut this afternoon on the Milwaukee River. They won't get you anywhere fast. The gondola travels at just three miles per hour. But the Trevisos are hoping Milwaukeeans won't be able to resist a romantic trip along the river. You might not have a, a whole lot to see at first, but as the, the river gets developed, things are going to get interesting. A new development along the river was also unveiled today, a just-completed quarter-mile section of Riverwalk, complete with benches and boat slips behind Schlitz Park. This is where Schlitz uh, had an area where they marshaled all their trucks to take their products out. And it was ugly, and it was dirty, and it was asphalt and rubble, and uh, it's cleaned up now. It's been reclaimed for people to get close to the river and to use the river. The gondolas begin operating next weekend during River Splash, a two-day celebration of food and music and now gondolas along the Milwaukee River. Noreen Lauer, News Channel 4. And tonight... Of Ven
pier and there's music and food going on a little bit uh, down the way here but for 10 blocks from michigan street to the south and schlitz park to the north there is 10 blocks of fun this weekend tonight and all day tomorrow but uh, the river is responsible for more than just river fest or river splash that is it has also helped to launch a couple of new businesses Call it a touch of Italy. Authentic handcrafted gondolas are now making the Milwaukee River home. Opening up for business just today, the Treviso family is offering rides on the river that up until now was difficult to do unless you owned your own boat. Traffic, as you can see now, is getting more and more as the, the river gets developed and the more people see what's going on, the gondola just add, add an extra um, attraction to the city of Milwaukee, basically. River development has also paved the way for other river transportation. Catch a ride on Pat Maurer's water taxi. This electric powered boat is also new this year as a regular business. Well, I saw an interest. Uh, there's a lot of interest in it. Everyone thinks it's a great idea. And I think with further development along the river and further interest in bringing more people down here, it should grow. This is lots of fun, really great. Yeah, kind of gives you a rocky this ride, and, but it's relaxed. This this Boat operators are counting on business from people like Chris Werner and company doing a little sightseeing in the city today. Expectations are so high, plans are already in the works to increase both boating operations for next year. We're going to try to have six gondolas in about a year and a year and a half from now. This is just the beginning. We're hoping to spend more. Of course, if you want to go for a ride on the river here, the gondolas, the water taxi, and the Edelweiss uh, cruise line here, dinner line, is uh, uh, makes trips up and down the river. But today, there were just hundreds of boats on the river. Among them, a group of canoes filled with politicians. That's right, politicians. It was called the politician race. Local lawmakers doing their best to make waves, but in some cases, not getting very far. When the race was over, Alderman Tom Donegan and Steve Cullen beat out the rest of the pack. Just for the record, they also won last year. That was just one of the events for River Splash this year. Tomorrow, there's a whole other lineup, including, we're told, a volleyball competition, a uh, river jam up the, up the way here at Schlitz Park, and also a beach party. So if you have time, come on out. That's all day tomorrow. Liz? A waterlogged Mark Leland reporting live from River. Festa Italiana, Milwaukee's oldest ethnic festival, captures the spirit of Italy. And one family of gondola makers rose in the romance of Venice to Milwaukee shores. Tracy Robinson has the story. Newlyweds Rosa and Carlo Gero Testa from Sicily are honeymooning here in Milwaukee. And to their delight, they found a romantic reminder of their homeland, the gondola. Cousin Rose Cornison translates. And it's kind of nostalgic for them also to come and uh, see this and to be able to go on a ride like this, to go on the gondola. The Venetian-style boats are built by Milwaukee's very own Treviso family of gondoliers. We just trying to bring back a little piece of Italy, of Venice, so to speak, on the Milwaukee River. Father Carlo and brothers Gantano and Antonio build the boats in their garage as a hobby. So far, the Trevisos have built three gondolas at a cost of seven months and $8,000 each. It gives you the, a romantic feeling that, you know, you would have to go to Venice to experience the same thing. So if you can't afford a flight to Venice, you can enjoy a romantic ride on a gondola right here in Milwaukee for about $11 per person. Oh, sole mio, sta pronta a te. The Trevisos say they've witnessed dozens of marriage proposals on the gondolas, and for newlyweds Rosa and Galogero, the gondola is a romantic ride they wish they could take all the way back to Italy. Tracy Robinson, TV6 News, Milwaukee. Uh, what a voice. Ah, oh, yes. Tracy was smiling when she came in. She enjoyed the singing. What would a gondola ride be without somebody singing? You think that? Italian, you think romance. What more can I say? <laughs> That's, That's a lover over there. That's a bottom line if I ever heard one. <laughs> we'll be right back. Thank you very much.